After having an amazing rookie season as we won Super Bowl and I won Officer Player of the Year and Officer Rookie of the Year, I'm now in my second season and I already know I'm finna go crazy cause ain't nobody in the league can guard me. Now I'm not a big party guy but after the Super Bowl, the guys was out there partying and stuff but I'm still put, I was still putting in that work, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm trying to come back this season better than I did my rookie season. Cause with the talent we got on offense and defense, we might be real young but we could definitely go for the two-peat. And before this first game, we was all talking about how we can most we can go undefeated this year and have the perfect season and win our second Super Bowl. Like we could definitely do that. We just gonna have to keep on putting in that work, work harder than we did the last day. You know what I'm saying? Make minimal mistakes, and we can do this shit. After having the season I just had last year, I've been getting a lot closer to Cam Newton, especially after we won that first Super Bowl for the Panthers. Like, growing up, he was one of my favorite quarterbacks to watch. Like, have you seen how cold he was in his MVP season, how he almost won a ring? Hey, man, you would know. And also, throughout the end of last season, a lot of, like, legends and veterans was hitting me up. But I had all my social media turned off just so I could be locked in last season. But in the offseason, I turned my social media back on. And I linked up with a lot of legends like Randy Moss, Jerry Rice, even Julio Jones hit me up. First game of the season wasn't too much offense. It was 7-3, but good thing we came out came out the end of the game and won. Bryce Young did not have a bad game. 21 for 26 with a touchdown, no picks. And also had a good game. Six catches, 107 yards, and a touchdown. But yeah, linking up with them legends and them vets in the offseason have definitely improved my game a lot. Like, even though I broke records last season, I could do better than that. And they showed me on film things I could do a little bit better, and we worked them out in the offseason. And since I've only played slot receiver damn near my whole life, they was teaching me like better ways to be more of an outside receiver. And you know what I'm saying? Coach is starting to put me on the outside a lot more. Because if coach can just find ways to put me at every different position at receiver, it's going to be way harder for teams to try to stop me. Especially if me, Bryce Young, and Adam Thielen are locked in. Like, I don't see a team beating us or being able to stop us if we're locked in like we are. Especially if Bryce Young is going to be throwing dots like this. Like, I beat the coverage and he throws his ball over all these defenders and I come in and score a touchdown. Like, that was a dot. Like, Bryce Young is literally the best quarterback in the draft and I was the best receiver in the draft. I don't even understand how we ended up on the same team. But now we're up 24 to 14 in the fourth quarter and we're in the onside kick scenario. And man, we practice this shit in practice. We're not alone. We beat the Jaguars 27 to 14. Keep our undefeated dreams alive. Bryce Young only threw two incomplete passes and had three touchdowns. You know me, I had five catches, 129 yards in the touchdown. All right, man, we're playing against the Cowboys, and I'm excited for this game. Trayvon Diggs and Stephon Gilmore, let's get it. It's the first play, we run slants because they playing a little bit over us. I'm just going to go ahead and get this ball, get this first down. Easy. Oh, Bryce Young, Trayvon Diggs cannot guard me. Just go ahead and pass me that ball because I'm going to catch it every single time. He can't guard me. I'm going to catch him in the cover three, so I just go ahead and hit him with the same route I just hit him with get an easy first down. Now I got Gilly on me in the red zone. I beat him off the press on the slant get an easy touchdown. I, hey, man, they can't guard me. Well, 7-3 in his third down. I see Trevor on this came down a little bit, so I burn him over the top. He dives and does not catch the pick, and I'm too slow to score the touchdown. Now we're up 14-6 in the second quarter. It's third and five, so we're just going to get this easy first down. They playing off coverage right now. I already burned Trayvon Diggs, trying to beat Stephon Gilmore off the press and burn him. He is way too slow. That boy is old, and he is washed. Easy touchdown. Can't guard me. After I killed him that last play, he decided to play off a little bit. He stepped back a little bit, so I ran a little slant. Got the easy first down. He still can't guard me. First and 10, I think this Trayvon Diggs on me. I hit him with a corner round. I'm wide open, and Bryce Young doesn't throw it to me. That would have been a crazy play. We didn't end up scoring that drive, and the Cowboys did. Now we're on the onside recovery again, and guess what? We're getting that shit. Y'all not getting that, bro. It was a close game. It shouldn't have been this close, though. We won 21-16. Brushing had a good game, 18 for 24, 265 yards, and two passing touchdowns. 
You know, everybody have crazy games against the Cowboys. Nine catches, 201 yards, and two touchdowns. Now we're playing against the Packers, and hopefully Coach lets me go to Jair's side sometimes, you know what I'm saying, so I could kill him. Coach got me on the right side of the field, and this is what Jair is. I hit him with a post route. Most niggas can't guard it, man. I, I don't blame him. Now, I personally don't like this formation, but, hey, man, the play gets me open, so I don't mind it. That's an easy first down. Juke not the first defender. Juke not the second guy. I'm just too shifty. It's first and goal, and when I tell y'all I hate this game, I'm wide open, and my player doesn't even try to catch the ball. He lets it hit him in the helmet. What's going on? First and 10, we catch these niggas in the cover three or blitz or whatever that was, but we was running verticals. Y'all know this is easy first down every time. We're in the red zone. We're on our favorite play, the slants, and he finds Adam Thielen wide open for the touchdown. Defense got to stop. We're up 14 to 10 and third down. Get this first down. Continue our drive. Coach decided to run this play one more time since it worked earlier, and we haven't ran it in a little bit. It worked again. That's a dot from Bryce Young, though. Up 24 to 17 in the fourth quarter, and we're in another onside scenario. And y'all know we picking that shit up. That's game. We win another close game. Still undefeated. 24 to 17. Bryson had a good game. 20 for 25 with only one touchdown, but hey, we won. That's all that matters. And I had six catches, 101 yards, but no touchdown. It's week five. We're playing against the Vikings, and I know they ain't got nobody to guard me. Starting off the game, we're down 7-0, and I already know this is going to be a battle between me and Justin Jefferson. Bryce Young throwing the dot to me in the middle of the field. It's first down. Then on second and goal, Bryce Young throws this dot in between these zones. I don't know how he got it there, but that's a touchdown. After we scored, they scored right back. And I hit him with a post route wide open in the middle of the field again. Like I said, they can't guard me. And on first and 10, I'm on a streak route. And I beat this guy on the outside. And Bryce Young throws his dot to the back of the end zone. But they end up calling it back. I, I could have sworn I had my feet in. We made it all the way up to the goal line after we got hold for my touchdown. And Bryce Young finds LaVisca Chanel for a touchdown. Defense got a big stop. Now we have a chance to score and we could be ahead at halftime. Now we're up 21 to 14 in the third quarter and we started off with the ball, so we're definitely finna score again. It's second and one and I'm wide open off a slant and Bryce Young forces this ball to a comeback route and it gets picked off. All we had to do is at least get a field goal this drive, but now defense got to get another stop. Defense got that stop and on first and 10, I killed his DB and Bryce Young does not see me. He throws to the guy under. At least he still got the first down, though. Up 35 to 21, they decide to go for an onside kick. And like I said, we practice this shit. We done damn near had an onside kick thing every game this season. I don't know, man. Yeah, just like I expected, we won this game 35 to 28. It's a great offensive game. Bryce Young went crazy. 313 yards and five touchdowns in a pick. And I really feel like I should have had a way better game than this. Five catches, 88 yards in the tud. I could have at least had 100 yards. Trying to continue our undefeated streak. We got the Saints, a divisional rival. I can't even really say a rival because we beat their ass every time. First and 10, Coach drew up a really good play. I get wide open on this drag route and get the first down. It's 35, and this is probably one of my favorite plays, but we rarely use it. I get wide open on this post route and get up the field, get tackled. Second and goal, I run this slant route, and Bryce Young finds me, throws it to me as a dot for a touchdown. Up 7-0 now, second quarter's coming to an end on second down. Kill this guy with the corner route. Y'all know that's my best route. And on third and 12, Coach runs this crazy play. He got me running a very deep corner route. Ends up getting open. I don't know what defense they was in, but that shit was ass. Then on first and 10, Bryce Young sees LaVisca. So now he beats the guy on the, all, on the outside, and it looked like a cover two, I guess. It's a dot for a touchdown. Now we're 14 to 0. Their offense is just terrible. And Bryce Young finds me in the middle of the field. That is a dot. And then again in the red zone with this slant route, they just can't guard it. That's an easy touchdown. Them niggas finally scored a touchdown. That went onside kick again. And y'all know we recover all these hoes. We stay undefeated, beating these niggas' ass 24 to 7. Bryce Young continues to show why he's the most accurate quarterback in the league. Like, look at that game. Another great game for me. Eight catches, 113 yards, and two receiving touchdowns. Ain't gonna lie, I'm too fucking nasty. 